a story with many facets. Varied twisting side channels lead to the central core and current. Often it is considered a city story. But this is a misconception. For parts of it frequently reach into small towns and villages. This is a story of a problem that knows no boundaries. It spreads beyond city limits and county lines. It crosses state borders without discrimination. And parts of it stretch past the boundaries of our own nation into the vast intangible areas of other countries. Thus, part of the story is here. And sometimes seemingly disconnected, apparently having no relation to other parts of the story, another facet may show itself here. And another side may be here. And still another part here. Yet, as seemingly independent as each episode may be, they all lead toward the central theme, toward one end. A monkey on her back, hophead, junkie, hype. There's no shortage of words in the jargon to identify her. They all add up to the same thing. And she knows better than anyone what they really mean. The end of the world. A fix, a few grams of narcotics is the sole object and purpose in life. But this end must have a beginning. Somewhere between this room and... And here, the stage is set. Beyond, the ideas, the drives, and the emotions that will lead toward the end are molded. But in the beginning, God created man in his own image, strong and sound in mind and body. And the body begins to grow. And the mind takes form and learns. But sometimes there are defects in the pattern of learning. Errors, misunderstandings, and many times, negligence. Young minds and emotions are held firm by love and a picture of security. They cannot understand the complexities of life. It is the duty of the adult to introduce these complexities with a careful teaching hand. They must always remember that reason is the gift of adulthood, which youth has not yet learned. Youth feels life just as they see it, and they react to those feelings. Thus, now a problem has taken root, and a beginning is established. No single incident makes a problem. They are born of many errors. I won't be able to get home for dinner again tonight. Forgot about the club meeting. Plenty in the refrigerator. Father called. He'll be home next week. See you tomorrow. Mother. of loneliness, and these hours unfold into days, weeks, months, years, in which the young mind probes and experiments with life. Youth is hungry and eager to grow into the cherished dream of adulthood, 
But left to itself, that growth is unchanneled. The adult tools are available, but without the guiding hand to teach their proper use. To the young person, the mere use of these adult tools symbolizes the arrival into the grown-up world. A dream world where dependency is ended and loneliness can be conquered. And they find they can make their own decisions despite inexperience and hide their lack of security. And adding appeal to the situation, the unsupervised adolescent playing the make-believe role of adult easily finds companions to join in the game and perhaps introduce new rules. playing a clandestine game, there is likely to be one or two who have advanced into even more forbidden areas. Bigger kicks. Drugs. Narcotics addiction frequently follows a pattern of gradual addiction to different drugs. Often the introduction comes in the form of a goofball. These are barbiturates. Ones in common use are seconal, nembutal, and luminol. These are legitimate medications when prescribed by a physician. He understands their use and potential dangers, especially to those who may have an allergy toward any or all of them. Here, an untrained youth dispenses them to persons about whom he knows nothing. Barbiturates are sedatives and hypnotics with depressant effects. To help offset the sedative effect, barbiturates are sometimes taken in conjunction with amphetamine, such as benzedrine and dexedrine. These are opposites, and the body fights to remain normal. Instinct or a natural fear of drugs may inhibit the user in making the initial experiment. But those adept in their use of drugs understand this fear and make a concentrated effort to break it down. They may comfort or deride the novice. But whatever the method, the purpose and desire is to bring another member into the illicit fold. The situation is expanding. It is no longer simply a family problem, a community or social problem. Although it is all of these things, it is now also an enforcement problem. Not only for specially trained agents, but for every field officer. Narcotics are associated with a wide variety of crimes. Robbery, homicide, burglary, vice, and moral. The annals report that over 75% of all crimes today are in some way motivated by drug use.